Welcome back, all you Fabricant and Fleshbacks, to the super, not, funny show, Reviews. And today we are reviewing episode 9 of Beavis and Butthead. It's entitled Weird Girl slash Time Travelers. Come to you from Paramount+. Plus. So, was it good? Was it bad? And should you be watching? Beavis and Butthead episode 9. That's a, it's a, amazing. Uh, we've gotten so far along into this uh, season. Who knows how many episodes? I'm presuming 10. Uh, so if this is the next to last episode, I just have to say... Man, they saved, uh, like, you know, the bangers for the end of the season because this was a really, really good episode. Um, we start off with a Weird Girl, which is uh, in, uh, about a girl in, in a class with Beavis uh, and Butthead who likes Beavis, or I would assume, because she's kind of, a, she's considered to be a weird girl, eats by herself and all that stuff. She's a... a outcast of sorts and she for whatever reason really liked seeing beavis get arrested and or you know not arrested but manhandled by the security at school because he was doing his cornholio thing and um and for whatever reason she decides that she loves she's in love with beavis and is trying to let him know uh through passing notes or whatever and of course beavis being completely stupid and having an an equally stupid friend and a uh, quote friend and butthead uh, who more or less <laughs> makes him think that she wants to hurt him, uh, beat him up or whatever. And so uh, Van Driesen and in his infinite wisdom and decides to separate Beavis. But I, I, I have to wonder myself, why, don't, why the hell don't we ever see him do that before? Because they literally disturb class all the time. But whatever. It's just a contrivance to get him to sit next to the weird girl who sits and kind of talks to him and um you know they it ends up you know of course beavis is too dumb to recognize all of that uh and uh, when he reveals later that his the greatest love of his life is fire we later on see that she um you know she gets arrested for setting the portables at school on fire i guess to show that hey you know to get his attention or something like that um it's all I liked the whole premise. It was good. It was it was funny. Beavis being stupid and you know completely missing all the, the clues and everything, and then at the end you know thinking that she actually liked Butthead because again he's an idiot. But I I liked that there was in the writing in this was good in the sense that it wasn't just a good joke or whatever told, but actually the character of Weird Girl was actually somewhat interesting, even if she was just there really to to be served up by the dumb dumbness of uh, the two main characters. Um, but what really shown in that part of the episode was the riffing and, and the, uh, and the, uh, you know, the middle parts when they were just watching uh, videos or whatever was really funny, really, really funny. That, that whole uh, tattoo, whatever uh, that they were talking about, you know, the whole, that was, it's hilarious that uh, the diarrhea tattoo thing, hilarious. Like, I mean, like, this This is probably the biggest laughs I've had in the entire series thus far. Uh, they were absolutely on point, hitting their stride as far as the riffing uh, situations concerned. And it really set me up for the end of that part of the episode uh, and the way it ended. So, uh, you know, this is top-notch Beavis and Butthead, that first half. Second half wasn't quite as good as the first half, the part with Time Travelers. Um... But it had the potential to be a, a premise that wore thin, but they just, it was really more of a premise that it, uh, it kept ramping up every time. They, you know, they went back to the same joke. And the premise being that because they're stupid, Beavis and Butthead thinks, you know, stepping into mountain time zone means that they're tra time traveling. And so they just keep stepping over the state, you know, the little um, state line slash, you know, time zone line. And thinking they're going to the future or past or whatever. And it's just really them being, you know, being idiots as usual. But that, with the added wrinkle of them thinking that they're actually doing something really smart or whatever. And, but it just leads them to, eat, you know, Beavis eating a hot dog off the ground. And, you know, he accidentally breaks his arm. And then they, you know, they think that they're going to, you know, go talk to some women or go back in the past before they 
you know, they they met them. It's it's very it's all, you know, hinged on the fact that they're they're so dumb. Uh, but really, they're just walking them back and forth, back and forth, and being and being stupid. Um, you know, Butthead Abib is breaking his arm, and you know, convincing himself it doesn't hurt anymore because they walked around that thing. It was just funny. But then, you know, at the very end, and the reason why I say it's not as funny because you know the ending of it is just like they're just walking to the sunset, which seems to be a theme on this show a lot, where they're just walking off into the sunset for some reason or other. Uh, while Van Driesen's, you know, trying to figure out where the hell they are for their field trip. Uh, once again, uh, what really elevates this is that the riffing in the middle, you know, and that the music video was really, really funny. Just like they, whoever was, uh, you know, doing the, the writing for the riffs on this, they earned their pay because I laughed a lot. I, like, laughed quite loudly, actually, um, throughout the the riffing uh, portion of this episode. And I thought it was just, you know, again, a return to form. That's all I've I've wanted was a return to form in which, you know, it was a decent premise in the episode, but the riffing was really what rounded out the entire uh, episode. And I think that they, you know, they really, uh, they went the extra mile on this one. Hit it out the park, any other metaphor you want to use for this. So I just overall... Very satisfied with this episode, and I'm really glad that I was wrong about the direction of this show and how good it was going to be. This is actually uh, a good stuff, and uh, you know, I hope that this is you know, if, if next week is the last one, I hope they finish as strong as this one. So, anyway, what did you guys think about this episode? What did you think about what I had to say? Get down to that, uh, you know, to the comment section. Let me know what you're thinking. Of course, you can always hit me up. Super not funny show at gmail.com or at super not funny s1 on Twitter. And while you're doing that, get down there, hit that like button. It helps us on the algorithm so more people can see these videos. And hit the subscribe button. Join the channel. We would love to have you here. All right, all you fabricated flesh bags. Thanks for joining me. Come back next week for episode 10 review of Beavis and Butthead. Until then, I've been Mode Poupe, resident fabricant and comic extraordinaire on all things pop culture. And I'll see you guys on the other side of the thread. Peace.